We check in now on the latest cattle market news with our market update brought to you by Cattle Facts. Hello, I'm Ethan Roberts of the Cattle Facts update. Based on Cattle Facts estimated cattle and feed numbers for December 1st, a large percentage of cattle and feed are currently hedged. This number is derived from using the commercial short position in live cattle contracts and the current number of cattle on feed. The commercial short position represents anybody that is directly involved in the cattle or beef business. The traditional commercial short would represent a cattle producer protecting profits and or equity. The current data point would express that about 61% of the cattle on feed are indeed covered with a live cattle contract. 61% is in the upper one-third of coverage levels that we have seen in the last two decades. It is up 8% from the 2017 low that occurred in the month of September. However, it is still lower than the number that was seen in May of this year, during which over 66% of cattle were hedged. The all-time high occurred in July of 2014 at 74%. With an increasing position over the last several months in combination with an impulsive market rally, there are profits to be made heading into the first half of 2018. The market presented ample opportunities to hedge cattle for a profit as February live cattle reached $132 a hundredweight in the first part of November. This was at or above break-evens that were purchased against that contract. The same can be said for all the cattle placed against the first six months in 2018. Cattle feeders protecting cattle for the end of 2017 and in 2018 at high levels turns into a positive for feeder cattle and calves. Profitability cattle feeding level turns into stronger demand for feeder cattle and calves as the cattle feeders are more willing to pay higher prices to keep their yards full. Whether this equates to overall higher prices is yet to be determined, but should help to keep the premiums in the feeder cattle and calf markets on the upper end of the range. If respectable profits are locked in for the first six months of 2018, then expect a cattle feeder to get a good head start on another year of positive profits. For the Angus Report and Cattle Facts, I'm Ethan Oberst. To learn more about Cattle Facts, your leading source for beef industry market information, visit cattlefacts.com.